Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, your lovely faces, to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at something which I saw earlier. This came out on Friday, and let's just say it's one of the funniest things I have seen in a while. And what are we talking about? We're talking about this Daily Mail article. Now, this is coming from the Wayback Machine, but the website is down below for you if you want to have a little look at it yourselves. So, are you taking notes, Amber Heard? As Gwyneth Paltrow wins her Utah ski crash case, experts reveal how she swayed jurors with witty one-liners and polite graciousness. Well, Johnny Depp's ex sank her case with rehearsed sobs and outbursts. <laughs> it's... Is this the turning of the tide? I don't think anyone really knows about this anymore because it's just becoming so funny. Both trials captured the nation, but the results were very different. Amber lost the defamation case against ex-husband Johnny Depp last year. Gwyneth won her case and the affection of the world against Terry Sanderson. And what it does, it goes in and it does talk a lot about obviously the Johnny case and the Gwyneth case. And it's just going on to say basically how Amber was acting. And we all called her out on it. We all did. We were all talking about literally she went out there. She, it was like she was doing a scene from a movie. And we even had her own acting coach, remember, state when she's doing crying or emotional scenes, she cannot cry. She was sobbing up on the uh, stand, but there was no tears. I think out of the entire trial, people caught like two or three tears. But she was there, she was sobbing and doing everything. And obviously, experts, and now it's literally going on saying, yeah, the way she rehearsed everything, it just didn't work. But it goes on to say, obviously, the two celebrity cases. Both trials were similar in that they completely engrossed the nation and saw two very influential and well-known women facing off against a man in court. The end result was very different for the two ladies involved as one came out victorious and one didn't. Not only did Gwyneth 50 win her case, a jury found that she was not to blame for the incident and awarded her with the one dollar she asked for, but she also seemed to earn the admiration of the entire world. Obviously, Amber, on the other hand, who was ordered to pay Johnny 10 million in the end, lost her case and her reputation along the way. Now, a group of legal and body language experts have weighed in on the public, who was clearly captivated by both trials, seemed to back Gwyneth, but turned on her exclusively to the Daily Mail, and dished on what the Goop founder did right and what she did wrong. So, obviously, I've been keeping up to date with the Gwyneth Paltrow case, just in the background, just watching it here and there, not watching the entire thing. But when she was on stage, she was... She was more polite, which she was. She wasn't sobbing, she was talking to him, she was being nice to people. And when you think of it that way, compared to how Amber was on the stand, there's literally people are going to go towards the person who is actually just, yeah, just talking to you and me, not someone who is sobbing, cry well, crying, and literally throwing temper tantrums, which is what Amber did, you know? But it goes on to say about uh, it was perhaps it was a cool, calm, and collected personer, or her sassy responses to the prosecution's bizarre questions. Who can forget her now famous "I lost a day of skiing" answer? But it seemed as though the public was cheering Gwyneth on every step of the trial. Social media was quick to turn many of Gwyneth's statements from when she took the stand last week into viral memes, with one user claiming she deserved an Oscar for her appearance in the courtroom and others stating that they now want to dress up as courtroom Gwyneth for Halloween. See? When you're nice to people, and you're literally just asking and answering questions, instead of trying to put on a performance so people will be, you know, feel guilty for you, it's not going to work. This day and age, with social media, everyone is always looking to scrutinize something. Everything. Everyone is going to look at it and be like, Ooh, why is she acting like that? Why is there no tears? Why is she saying this when they never asked that question? That just shows that a lot of Amber's statements, what she was reading out, again, quite a few lines did come from, uh, you know, the talented Mr. Ripley, which people are like, oh, it never, but it's word for word verbatim, you know, it's that sort of thing. And you can just see she's acting. Why is she putting this on? Just go up there, just speak. 
You know, again, it may be difficult for certain things. I understand that. But again, no, when you go out and you're literally, as soon as you get on the stand, they go, Aah! people are going to be like, get the fuck out of here, you know, which is what they did with her. But it does go on to state, when Amber and Johnny's uh, trial took place last year, the web had quite the opposite reaction to her uh, courtroom demeanor and painted her in a very different light with many people mocking the actress over her emotional outbursts and even suggesting that she was playing it up for the cameras, which is what everyone has said. So, their demeanour in the courtroom, Gwyneth seemed cool, calm and collected and focused on speaking to the lawyers. While Amber was emotional, would burst into tears and often played to the jury. Perfect example, look at those photos right there. At first glance, the answer to why the world had such a contrasting reaction to the two trials seem obvious. A Amber and Johnny's trial involves serious allegations of this, but the question still remains why people were so against her and so gushing over Gwyneth. The experts, here we go now, the experts say that only uh, the one likely reason for this is their contrasting behaviour in the courtroom. Exactly. Not only did Gwyneth seem a lot more put together during the trial, but she also focused on speaking to the lawyers, while Amber often directed the jury. Body language expert Judy Jinks spoke exclusively to the Daily Mail about how Gwyneth's subtle expressions and movements helped her win the case and the affection of the public, while Amber sunk hers. According to Judy, Gwyneth was sociable and came off as less of a celebrity and more like one of the legal team. She would arrive chatting or allow her eyes to scan the room before taking her seat. Her demeanour on the bench would often give the impression that she was one of the legal team. Some of these gestures of authority and even superiority would extend to her appearance on the stand. Her chin was often raised along with her eyebrows and her lips would constantly purse and pucker in a gesture of disapproval. When she wore her large spectacles, she would often look over the top of them with all these rituals given a look of a head teacher style authority. In addition, she never seemed phased by the prosecution's bizarre attempts to proceed some narcissistic showboating from the actress. Again, you can just see, you know, just the way that they, uh, the way they just held themselves amongst everything, you know? They failed as she maintained her air of polite uh, graciousness in response, while Judy explained that Gwyneth showed hints of regret and anxiety here and there overall, she said the actress seemed to give off a sense of decisive thinking. When it came time for Gwyneth to describe the collision, she tended to act out the crash in her thought and emotions at the time in a way that seemed to give weight to her side of the story, while her generally calm demeanour gave no impression of overworking the cameras or the jury. Gwyneth tended to steer clear of anything that could be seen as showboating, over congruousness or emotional manipulation, which is exactly what A.H. did in her trial. Her claim that she lost half a day of skiing might have sounded like a mean dream, but at least it wasn't delivered with overkill signals of self-pity, just a wide-eyed, raised brow, head nodding that suggested calm displeasure. Exactly, you know? People don't like to feel or fear they are being played or duped, which is why tears will be scrutinised for authenticity and any histrionics can often cause doubt or distrust, which is what a lot of Amber did in her court appearance. And that brings us to Amber. On the opposite spectrum, the Aquaman actress was often seen displaying anger, distress, anguish and tears throughout her trial, erupting in numerous emotional outbursts and bursting into tears on more than one occasion, with hardly any uh, tears coming out of her eyes though. Just previously told DailyMail.com, sorry Judy, not uh, just previously, that it seemed obvious to her that Amber was working in overtime to humanise herself in the jury's eyes which likely didn't go over well with the public, which it didn't. Attorney Krista Haggy Rami also weighed in on the topic, explaining Amber would listen to the questions and turn to the jury to respond. It seemed more rehearsed. Rehearsed does not play as honest in court. Exactly. So he got by there when she was, she'd be like, right, get the question from, uh, you know, Camille or whoever. And then she'd go, yes, he was doing this to me. The jury's not there for that. And that's exactly what they're talking about here. Gwyneth was direct. She made eye contact with the attorney speaking with her. She was not playing to the jury. That is very important because she's an actor. She did not come across as someone who was aware that jury was there and needed to be persuaded. Krista explained that Gwyneth's trial was much more focused on expert testimony and eyewitness reports. 
rather than Amber and Johnny's, which was purely based on who the jury believed and less on scientific-based evidence. Gwyneth had an incredible team of experts, both for liability and damages, to help her. She really, she really will wasn't the reason this case was won. Won or lost on the professional experts in Gwyneth's case, the biomechanics and the medical experts. Amber's likability went directly to her credibility, but the Gwyneth trial, whether or not you liked her, did not really matter. And that is exactly true, but we're going to end it by there, guys, and say, because it's literally just a little bit of everything that's been going on. And they just go on to say exactly what we've just been talking about. That Gwyneth, she was there to be like, no, I'm here now. We're going to do this. I'm talking to the uh, to the prosecutor. You're going to ask me questions, and I'm going to answer them. And like, unlike Amber, she was just playing to the jury, trying to cry. And when you got people who saying that... Yeah, she can't even cry when she does a uh, an emotional scene coming from her own acting coach. Oof, that's going to sting. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all very soon.